Welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. Hey, hey, it's your girl, Lori. Hope you guys are having a great day. Y'all, we are doing a continuation of my phase for 2021. Today, we're talking about blushes. So if you want to know what are my favorite blushes for 2021, you know what you need to do, right? Keep on watching. All right, y'all, let's jump right into this video. You guys, you know what you need to be doing, right? Following your girl. If you're not following me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're already following me, you know what else you need to do? Make sure your notification bells are on and everybody should follow your girl on Instagram at It's Lori's Life. Now y'all, let's get into these blushes. Now, this was hard because you know I am a blush hussy. So, for me to break it down, what I did, I made sure I stayed within the guidelines. We're only gonna do brush blushes that came out and 2021 that's it you guys know some of my all-time faves but these came out this year so we're gonna rank them like i did the foundations and we're gonna go with number three and i hate to show you guys this one because it's sold out but i i, I gotta show you it's, it's one of my faves all right you guys so my number three is from the godly glow and let me open it up and show you guys which one I'm talking about. Do you guys see that beautiful, beautiful, orangey, browny, neutral type shade? You guys, I am wearing it today. This has become one of my favorite blushes for every day wear. Now in this palette, you will receive one, two, three, four blushes. So if you see any other colors you like, and then you also receive two highlighters. Now for me, I gravitate to this blush right here. When I tell y'all, this is my no brainer. Like I have been wearing this as my simple, easy, everyday type look blush. It gives me a nice flush. You see that? A nice flush of color, but it's not overpowering the face. And what I really like about it, it, it's not too bright and it's not too cool. It's just like right in the middle. And you can definitely see it on my skin. But it's nice and subtle at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm, I'm probably confusing the heck out of y'all. But for me, I love it because it's just perfect for my skin tone. Like, it's easy. I don't have to worry about, sometimes, you know, it might, an orange could be like too much, right? Or it could be a blush that is so subtle that you can't see it at all. This blush, you guys, is just perfect for me. Like, I just put it on and go. I really, really like it. And it's very pigmented. So, uh, like with all the rest of these blushes, they're very pigmented. So, you do have to go in a little light-handed. You don't want to just be like, and, you know, putting it all on your face. You don't want to do that. But, yeah. Number three is from the Godly Glow. Now, I know I'm about to shock all of y'all when I tell y'all what my number two is, but clutch your pearls and get ready, okay? My number two is from Pat McGrath Labs. I know y'all probably thought this was going to be number one, but no. Number two in the shade, the shade is Paradise Venus, and it is a terracotta shade with a demi matte. You guys see, I kind of like a certain type of color, right? And um, you guys, this particular blush comes in nine different shades and one thing i love about this let me swatch it so you can see because it says it's terracotta but it's like a terracotta um okay you guys see that so it's not so much ter it has a little terracotta in it but it's a very warm almost pinky like terracotta shade you guys i love this color on me like this is a beautiful color one thing i would have to say the formula is amazing like when i say it's definitely a demi matte it doesn't have a lot of sheen but it did it still does have some sheen to it and what i really 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 like about this this is buildable when i tell you you can make it as light as you want it or as heavy as you want it it all depends on your preference and that's one of the things i love about pat mcgrath's blushes because i feel like she was thinking about 
everybody. I feel like she was thinking about the girl that might be a little intimidated with blushes. And so she can go very light-handed, you know. You don't have to worry about putting your brush in it and then putting it on your face. And it's like, woo, that's too much. Because the way it's formulated is very, you build the color up to the intensity that you want it to be. That's one thing I love about this particular formula. But, but this particular color, I love this color because it goes with so many of my looks. Like, so many. And it gives my skin some warmth. And another thing I like about it is that it is really beginner friendly. Like, if I had to say, hey, you guys, you're looking for a blush to get started with, I would definitely say this formula in Pat McGrath. So, you guys, this is my number two blush for 2021. All right, y'all, let me show you what my number one blush of 2021 is. And you guys are going to be surprised. Yep, it is the Armani Neo Nude Color Melting Cream Blush. You guys, it comes in nine shades, which are always sold out. The shade I have is called 30, and it's a warm coral shade. Let me let you see what it looks like. You guys... Right now, um, it's only two of them available on Sephora. I can, you can never get them. They're always sold out. And this is a matte finish, y'all. And let me show you something. Let me get in close. Do you see your girl's hitting pan? Do you see that? Now, let me tell you something. I, don't, I, I feel like you don't get a lot of product, too, now. You don't get a lot of product. But let me tell you guys. Let me swatch her for you. Y'all, the way she feels. Okay, you guys, that's the color right there. Oh, oh, y'all. Mm. Beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. I absolutely love this color. This is definitely giving me an orange terracotta. Um, but guys, it's, it's the formula. Let me tell you, anybody knows I am not... Or correction, I guess I am. I was not a cream girl. I wasn't a cream foundation. I mean, um, blush, bronzer, none of that, none of that stuff. I was not into the cream. But let me tell you about this particular blush. It's a velvet feeling. It feels like velvet, you guys. It's but it doesn't dry down. Let me tell you one of the problems I have about creams. Because I always feel like, okay, if I put a cream on, I'm going to have to put a powder on top of it to set it, right? This, you do not have to put a powder on top. It dries down like a mat. I'm very comfortable applying this onto my cheeks and going to the next pro process and not having to worry about going back and setting it because it does dry down like a mat. And you guys, when I tell you it lasts, it lasts, it shows up, it's buildable, you can control it. All the good good, you get all the good good. I just wish they would give us more product. Like I would be willing to pay whatever for a bigger pan. Like we need more of this because Y'all, as you can see, your girl has been using the heck out of this. Now, it comes... I do also have um, a darker shade. I'm just showing you guys. It's not one of the fades, but I'm going to just show you. The deepest shade that they have. And um, what is it called? I think it's called Deep Plum. That's the deepest shade that they have. But y'all, it's the formula for your girl. Now, I haven't used this as much as I use my fave color but i do love the formula on them both and i will be picking up other shades but you guys if you have not tried this um got the wrong one my bad if you have not tried the armani cream blushes y'all do yourself a favor even if you're not a cream girl this to me is the best way to get introduced to a cream product i wish all cream products was like a matte finish um, because once you put it on, you don't have to have that very emollient look on your skin where you feel like you need to set it. It automatically sets down in a matte formula. So if you're kind of like timid and don't want to get into cream products, this one right here is, you have to definitely try it out. So those are my top three blushes 
of 2021, y'all. I know, in the comment section, let me know, did I surprise y'all? Or did you already know? Let me know, did you already know? And also tell me what is your favorite blush of 2021. Y'all, it was hard because it's like, okay, I gotta stick right into 2021 because I have some other blushes that you know I love. But when I when I have to think about just for this year, those are the top three, but all time, she's in the all time blushes because I love the formula. But that is it, you guys. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it. Your girl is trying to reach her goal by the end of the year. So if you know somebody that would like your girl, let them know about me. Tell them to subscribe to the channel. And that's it. So to all my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, a girl, hit that button so that I can save you a seat at the Grown Women's Table. And until the next video, bye-bye, ladies. So looking for an idea Just to get some tips You can get that right here This is Lori's life Yeah, this is Lori's life Yeah, check out Lori's life Yeah, this is Lori's life